Good evening. State your name and your topic and what grade you're in. Uh, my name is Justin Reed. This is my mom, Anika Reed. And my topic is, are married, ch- are married parents better for children? And I'm in the 12th grade. Okay, so what type of home did you grow up in? Uh, I have grown up in a single parent household all my life. And how ha- do you feel that has affected you? Uh, it's affected me a lot, but at the same time, I grew up successful. So without my father present, it has been a struggle. And, but my mom has done a great job, but it is some cons to it. Tell me some of the pros and cons that you feel like you've experienced in a single parent household. Uh, well, one of the pros is it's a lot more attention, you know, being a single mother and the only child, most of the attention is mainly on me, the most focused on me. My mom puts in a lot of time to make sure I'm okay and my well-being, so that's, that's one. Okay. What are some of the cons? Well, going on my mom, you know, it's more of a feminine room, so it's like, I don't, you know, have a father, so I don't have somebody that's there to teach me that masculinity that I need, so just, I have to learn most of that stuff on my own growing up and having people come from other households to help me and grow. So being in a single parent household, having what you would possibly call mentors or people from other households giving you that masculine role as you're growing up, how do you think that has helped you? That has helped me a lot. Not having a father presence, it brings another male into the role. That's why I feel like married couples are better for children because you have a mother who's more of a nurturer and you have a father that's more of a disciplinary. These mentor roles come from different households. I have a new side of life where masculinity comes in, teaching me different things, sports, and how to grow up be men and be strong. Miss Reed, do you feel like he's had any disciplinary issues because you aren't? that masculine role in the household? Actually, no. Um, Justin has been an excellent kid. I mean, I experienced the normal things that parents experience with teenagers. Um, even as a, a young boy, um, having to teach him certain things, right or wrong. Um, but other than that, uh, the mentors that Justin said, there were people there that took Justin and it's been time with him when Justin was around five or six years old. And they were great role models. And what I'm grateful for in that aspect is that God has placed people in his life that love him, even from a male perspective as well as from um, other females as well. So how did you stay positive, Mr. Reed? How did you grow up in a single parent household your entire life and not feel down on yourself or not want pity from other people? Well, first thing is that having a mom with a lot of attention, and then it would have been worse if I had a father and he's been in my life and left. This, In this case, he has never been there. So it's not like I have never seen a cave without him, which I have. So it's like I've been with my mother all my life. So really, this is all I know. So really... If I had ever had any problems, it would be trying to switch from mom to dad. But I've been with my mom all my life, so this is all I know. So I can't get mad at something I don't know. So yeah, it's been real easy. So you feel like it's better to not know than to know and have loss? Absolutely. I feel like when you come accustomed to one thing, it's better all your life. I feel like you can get adjusted to it, feelings start to grow and more like that instead of when you have a father that's been there and just lost seeing his face all half your life and don't see it anymore in my case I have never seen his face all I've seen is my mom's face so now you know that's why I feel like you know that I've just been okay that I have been growing up and growing and also too um, just to piggyback on what Justin said um, being that I'm not with Justin's dad um, I didn't have um, to go through or just to going through with promises of him being there and him not being there or um, working out to where maybe he get just on the weekend and then I have just on the weekend and then him may not showing up. Justin did have to go through that. The tug um, of war. Right, the tug of war. Or-